way of solving a multiplication question is by using an array of rows and columns. If we have the question 3 times 2, we can think of this as 3 rows by 2 columns. If we were to draw this, we would have 3 rows by 2 columns. So, 3 rows, 2 columns. Now if we add all of these, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 3 times 2 gives us a total of 6. Let's look at another example. 5 times 1. Now we're going to think of this as 5 rows by 1 column. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows. And we already have one column there. So there's our array. Now if we were to add these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that tells us that 5 times 1 equals 5. Another example is 1 times 4. So I can think of this as 1 row times 4 columns. So I have 1 row and 4 columns. 3, 4. So there's 1 row and 4 columns. If I were going to add these, I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, which tells me that 1 times 4 equals 4. Let's look at a word problem. Mrs. Jones has four children. One day she came home and gave each child two cookies. How many cookies did she give in total? So she has four children and they're each getting two cookies. We can think of this as four rows and two columns. So we're going to draw four rows, two, three, four, and two columns. So again, four rows, two columns. If we add these up, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. If we were to write this expression in numbers, it's four times two equals eight. And in words, we would say, we have to answer the question, how many cookies did she give in total? Well, she gave eight cookies in total. So now I have solved my problem with a picture, numbers, and words. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.